Hey, this is Staff Sergeant Nick Young from New Jersey National Guard Public Affairs Office. Today we're here uh, again at the Lawrenceville Armory at the New Jersey National Guard Militia Museum. And we're going to be taking a look at some weapons and uniforms from World War I. So, come on. Giddy up. Uh, this display here shows some of the weapons of, uh, of World War I. This is U.S. weapons up here, and then there's some German weapons uh, down below. We have a Winchester Trench Shotgun. Model 1897. The safety mechanism in that shotgun is interesting. You could hold the trigger back and just continue to pump it and it would fire. Right below it is uh, one, of the, one of the first Browning automatic rifles. Uh, below it is a uh, what we call a vanilla M1903 Springfield rifle. That rifle uh, we went to war with in World War I and World War II. All of these weapons fire the same round, 30-06. Here is an actual uniform that was worn by a soldier who, uh, I think he was originally from uh, New Hope, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and also lived in the, in the Lambertville area. Leroy Naylor, uh, born around the turn of the century and, and was drafted into the Army in World War I. You can tell from the uniform, number one, that he served overseas because these stripes, stripes would, would essentially represent, each one would be six months of service overseas. His the first army patch. First army patch, and then also there's an E in there, uh, which tells you that he was an engineer. There's also a small subdued patch on this shoulder here that's hard to see, but it's uh, an engineer castle. And of course, they've got the, the Brody helmet on his, or the Doughboy helmet on his uh, head. He happened to have a, a simulated uh, M1903 uh, weapon on his, on his back. No. And you can see his leggings, are, he's got his wrap leggings on. Uh, there are two different types of wraps. There is a, a cloth wrap, mm -hmm. and then there was the leggings that could, could go over it as we depict here. Would this be like the summertime, wintertime um, kit that a, a, a Doughboy soldier would, would get, or were there different like weights of no. fabrics? Like, like yeah. we We've always there. discussed wearing that uniform in the summer heat because it's totally solid wool, yeah. and if you get it wet, it even makes it that much worse mm -hmm. to wear. But yes, that was their issued uniform. 